Hi, welcome to today's Talk of the Town. I'm Sandy Benson. Brooke Melko joins the show today to introduce her very own designed and handcrafted jewelry. A visual artist, mother and wife living in Hilton Head, South Carolina, has found jewelry to be a medium that she loves working with. Hence her inspiration for the creation of Bocade Jewelry. Brooke, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Lovely to have you. So, and I think you're wearing a few of the pieces that you made. Yes. They're, they're, they're really beautiful. Thank I know you. Our, they can't see too much um, on screen, but they're, they're fabulous. Thank you. So, so how'd you get started in making jewelry? Well, I've always been a visual artist. I was a graphic designer by trade for about nine years, and then I became an art teacher. Mm. So always dabbling in the arts. I did a lot of painting and some ceramics. And then when I was home with my children, when I first had them, I was just craving to get back into something. And I went to a jewelry making party one night at a local bead shop and loved it. And I just went from there and took some you know, jewelry classes, soldering, stamping, and just explored and it's just another new medium for me that I absolutely love working with. Yeah, I, you, I don't even paint anymore. <laughs> yeah, and you're wonderful at it. So Thank you. Um, what type of jewelry do you make? I'm still more of the artist end where what as opposed mean? to business end where I'm just exploring still okay. and I, I don't have one like specific. stones and materials. Yeah, I love natural materials. Okay, meaning? Um, well, uh, stones, natural okay. stones, uh, natural sea glass. Okay. I also do some tumbled sea glass because that's a lot cheaper. Yes. People would prefer yes. to buy that. Um, I work with leather, with okay. silk, a lot of silk, repurposed wow. sari silk from India, wood. Yeah. You name it right now. And wow. I love, yeah, that's a lot of the metals are real fun yeah, for me. Yeah, how unique. So what, what inspires you to create your different designs? Oh gosh, so much. I would say nature would be the first thing. Um, I've been lucky to live in a few different places in the United States, the country, New York City, now the low country, and everywhere I am, it's the colors, the foliage in the fall up north, here it's the water and the, the na you know, nature, all, right. it's just it, everything. Um, even my children, yes. they, you know, they yeah, inspire kids me. Kids are inspiring, yeah, yes yeah. they are. <laughs> <laughs> and so when, you do, do you like, go along the beach? Do you, where do you find these materials? It's hard to find things on the beach here on yeah. Hilton Head. Um, in Jacksonville, Florida, I found so many shark's oh, teeth okay. and some sea glass there. Yeah. And I, I make shark's tooth. Usually for younger boys, they like that style. Right, right. But mostly I go to shows specifically for jewelry artists where I find very unique stones, lots of turquoise. I love turquoise. In fact, yeah. I just, I'm wearing three different pieces with turquoise yeah, in it now. Yeah, they're beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful. And your pairings are beautiful. Um, yeah. And I don't know Thank if they'll you. be able to see this, but there's a, a, a pearl in with the turquoise. Yes. And then what, what material is that? That's copper. That's oh, raw that's copper. Fabulous. I love working with with copper. Um, I hammer my metal and I wove this and I yeah I mix. There are some faceted um, faceted glass pieces in there, right. which is man-made, mixed with all the natural oh, it's just lovely. pearls. It's just lovely. Thank it's just it, lovely. It, oh, it's just lovely. So, how long does it typically take to make a piece like that? A piece like this, if, especially if it's the first and mostly their unique styles. Okay. Each one is one of a kind in that. You know, I make it by hand so each stone will be a little bit different right. and I hammer the metal. This could take a few hours. Okay. Um, in the beginning when I was designing a piece like this, um, until I had my right design, you know, I would play for a few days, a few hours, and now I could make it, you know, in 20 minutes. Wow. So now I could make something like this in, you know, maybe three hours tops. Right. Which right. is good. Yes. And yeah. so... Um, where are you selling your jewelry currently? And so if people are interested in it, and, and we will have all your information on the screen, but is it local? Okay. Yeah, well, I work out of my home studio, okay. which is local. Okay. I sell on Etsy. It's bouquetjewelry.etsy.com, which, okay. which is all, I don't know if you're familiar with Etsy, it's all handcrafters. Oh, okay, okay. Um, that's where I sell online. Um, locally, I'm in a spa, a local spa. I was in a... Um, 
uh, gallery in Calhoun Street, oh, neat. and I do a lot of festivals. Wonderful. For Hampton Lake. So, so, Lake so Fest. we can see you sort of around. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Which is, it's great to do the local things. Yeah, absolutely. You know, everyone absolutely. appreciates the shells that I actually find on the beach that yeah, I use. They just, can and relate. Sea glass is huge down here, which I love too. So that's Brooke. Thank amazing. you so much. Thank I love you. your pieces. Thank and, you very uh, much. I can't wait to see more online. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. And we'll be right back with Talk of the Town.